What's going on, you two? Welcome back. Uh, my name is Andre, as you must have guessed uh, by my channel. Um, so, this is vlog number three, technically. Technically, number three. Technically, should be number four, but the first video where I'm just the car is just driving, whatever the, the GoPro's mounted on the top, I don't really count as a vlog. I don't even know if I really count these as vlogs anyway, but uh, we'll call this number three. I didn't really get a title for these things. Um, I just think of a title. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Just got from dinner from my parents. Had a nice good dinner, spent some time with my nephew. Uh, he's a little bit of a maniac. But you know, he has his fun. When he's just a year and a few months old, uh, you can't expect much, you know. They have their energy and they just go, 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 go. And you gotta keep up. So that's the thing. Oh man. The day is almost over. So, who watched um, Pacquiao and Mayweather fight last night? What do you guys think? I see. I didn't watch it because I was like, you know what? It's a fight is a fight. One of them is going to win, for sure. I'm not the biggest boxing uh, match guy. The last fight I watched was uh, two weeks ago when it was Klitschko versus... Uh, who was it? I don't remember. But that fight I watched. Uh, and that's like one of the only boxers I will actually watch is a, is a Klitschko fight. Um, now, Manny and uh, Mayweather... I guess they had a good fight, I guess it's way different ways, uh, but right when I got onto, onto Facebook this morning, all I saw was, ah, what's it called, um, Mayweather's a, May Mayweather is a bitch, he's a chicken, he's this, he's running around too much, uh, he was being too defensive, he was hugging, hugging Manny too many times, I'm like, you know what, boxing is boxing, there's nothing in there saying that you can't clinch, you can't be defensive, whatever uh, arguably Mayweather is arguably one of the best uh, or one of the best defensively uh, based boxers in the world if not one of the best uh, that's arguably is um, he has a very de very defensive style of boxing compared to Manny who's very aggressive um, and you know what uh, I think for what it is is uh, Manny threw more Maybe Mayweather threw more and Mayweather, Mayweather landed more as well. That's the thing, it's all about quality over quantity, right? But at the same time, it's. Yeah, I know everybody likes uh, Manny because he's the people, he's for the people, he's for the people, he's all about the people. And Mayweather is all about the money and the fame and this and that. But all in the, but in the end, it's all it's about boxing and it's who wins the fight, who lands more punches. And in that story, uh, Mayweather won because he landed more punches, right? And in the end, he won. Uh, he won the boxing match because uh, he won. He landed more punches. But he, even though he was being defensive or he was clinching many too many times, you can say all you want. Really, um, clinching is part of the match. If you want, if that's the strategy, that's the strategy. Big deal. It is what it is. So it's it's kind of like uh, let's say if you're like I don't know, I'm not sure this will even be relevant. But let's say if you're going to a drag race with somebody. They might have the, the same kind of cars or whatever. Uh, one might have more horsepower, one might, one might have more torque. One has a sequential uh, gearbox and launch control, one just has a manual gearbox. There's two different types of styles, right? You like to dr drive different types of styles of cars. You can't say, oh, this thing is better than the other thing when it's like they're, they're two different leagues, right? And uh, it's like, yeah, Manny is a very aggressive uh, fighter, and Mayweather is more of a defensive fighter, so it's. Two different worlds, really. But I don't want to talk about that. You know what? This I've seen so many different things about uh, about that fight on Facebook, and I'm just like, really? People are really gonna just just gonna comment about every little thing, start making memes and gifs and that and shit. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Fight's done. It's done. Two different types of people, two different types of boxing styles, about boxing types and styles. And you know what? In the end, Mayweather won. Big deal. Some people have a thing about it. I hate them, some people don't, so whatever, okay. Um, but one thing I actually wanted to ask my viewers is, 
right now, so I originally had a front wheel drive car. I had a 2009 uh, Corolla. And I was like, you know what? This is great for gas, great for getting me from point A to go from point B, going to school, back and forth, going to work, and hanging out every once in a while. It was a great car to go on road trips, uh, drove 14, 13, 13, 1400 kilometers in a day, a few times, if not more. Um, well, the car was great. It had no reliability. It had perfect reliability. No issues. No nothing. Uh, but then you know what? Once I finished school, I was like, you know what? I need to treat myself to something better. And I, and I started looking at uh, only all-wheel drive cars. Because here in, in Edmonton and in, in Alberta, we have uh, well, ninety percent of our season is winter, pretty much. And you know, all you don't need all-wheel drive to get through the winter. I got through the winter in front-wheel drive most of my life um, but it is it's an extra thing and it's its a comfort it's a safety feature really and it just helps you get through the winter that's why I started working at, looking at all wheel drive so originally I was looking at uh, 84 S lines uh, around 2012-2013 20, um, or an A4 S line wagon if I could find an A4 S line wagon I would have bought the thing on the spot but within my budget, they were just absolutely not. If they were some, they would be out of province pretty far away. So my buddy, uh, who was clearly my boss, and currently is technically one of my bosses, uh, he told me, he was just like, yeah, no, let's, let's go have a look at a Merc. Let's just, let's just see. So I went uh, and looked at a Merc. Uh, and uh, right when I sat in it, I was like, you know what, this is the car. This is the car I want to buy for sure. Uh, here's the funny story is, uh, the car I sat in was this car. The car I first test drove in minus 35 degree weather was this car. And I knew right from the test drive, I was like, you know what, I am buying this, the hands down. So the first car that I ever sat in the Mercedes, technically, or first Mercedes, uh, I bought it. And I was like, you know what, I love this car, and I still love it today. Um, but here's my one thing is, it's got, let's say, up to about 300 or so horsepower. And you know what, that's, that's, that's a good amount, but as I'm a car guy, I always want to have more power, more torque, and more fancy things in my car. But with that comes higher priced cars, and the cars that are in my budget, like a, like a C63 AMG, let's say 2011, whatever, 2010, they're mostly all rear wheel drive. And that's my one concern, is what do you guys think? Is it viable to get a rear-wheel drive car which has 500 horsepower, 500 foot-pounds of torque, let's say around there, and drive it year-round? How do you guys think we'll do in the winter and in, uh, on ice here, in our cold winters, uh, shitty roads? Um, do you think it'll be something that, that somebody will hate or what? I guess that's the thing. I want that power. Like my buddy, he has a C63 MGS, well, just an AMG 507 edition, and it was a coupe. And this thing is just that naturally aspirated V8. Oh, I absolutely love that engine. And that car is just amazing. The power it has, the how it picks up, it's great. Um, and that's that car is just something I've always wanted to get. Any AMG car, pretty much, I was I always wanted to have. But now, so I'm kind of stuck on the rear wheel drive and all wheel drive thing. So do I get an older AMG, go for rear wheel, rear wheel drive and see if I can handle it in the winter? Or do I try and, and wait for another three, four, maybe five years, three, four years, let's say, uh, until I can afford like either a brand new eighty, ninety thousand dollars car uh, and get an a AMG S? C63 MGS or CLS or E, which are all-wheel drive AMG cars. They're great and I love them. I drove a E63 AMGS wagon um, for a few days and I was just like, I was in love with that thing. Just because how much horsepower it has, but the vehicle is still so practical. It's a wagon and a lot of people, I guess, they don't like wagons nowadays because there's station wagons, this and that. But you know what? I don't have a use for an SUV right now and I want to have a sporty car. And then all-wheel drive madness is what I really want. But that rear-wheel drive fun is what uh, I don't know. I don't know. Even like thinking about it, I was, I was even on on the brink of 
uh, selling my car a few weeks ago because I found a nice C63. But it just is that hesitation, you know. I don't know how to expect with rear wheel drive cars in the winter. Uh, I never really experienced uh, that kind of power in the winter in rear wheel, rear -wheel drive, especially. Uh, and especially driving around, uh, always driving around as much as I do. So it's something I, I really want to think about. And that's something I want to get your guys' opinion on. Maybe you guys have experience in that. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you know somebody who does. Uh, or you heard things that uh, are good and bad. Let me know. Please let me know. Yeah, give me a shout in the comments. Concerns, whatever. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I stuck away from uh, getting a Beamer. Uh, the M3s are, is a great car. No, no doubt about that. Uh, but rear wheel drive. And I just cannot do... I just could not do rear wheel drive at that time. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think I'll ever buy a Beamer anyway. Not to slam the Beamer people or people who love the cars. I just don't see their interior that appealing. The exterior is amazing, I gotta say. The new M3s, new M4s are great looking cars. They're very, very quick, very powerful. Uh, but I just don't have an appeal to their interiors at all, whatsoever. The interiors that I would personally still stick with, or cars, is out of your armor. Let's say that's that just a luxury level, let's say. I know that I can get a rear-wheel drive, uh, EMG or whatever, but now that I'm complaining about getting all-wheel drive, I could get, uh, let's say, an S4 or an older RS4, and they're all-wheel drive, they're great, they're great year-round, uh, they're great cars, they're, they're fast, but they don't have as much power as, let's say, as a C63 is, so let's say if I compare a R34, no, it's not R34, <laughs> an RS4 uh, versus a C63, C63 will blow it out of the water usually. So that's one of my one concerns. For the same kind of money, I'd rather get a Merc than like a C63 versus an RS4. Or even an S4, I guess the thing. Because uh, they don't make RS4s in Canada anymore, really. You can only get a new S4, uh, but you can get pretty much anything out of the AMG, line, AMG lineup. Yeah, first world problems, hey? I'm trying to, to decide which car to get with more horsepower, right? Well, other people in the world are trying to figure out what they're going to have for dinner tomorrow, right? So it's, it's nuts. You know what, I love uh, all cars nowadays. See, like one of my buddies, he's, he'll be getting rid of his car and he wants to get him something to a, a 12C. I was like, God damn, I wish I could afford that right now. A 12C would be amazing. Even though it's rear-wheel drive, you know what, a car like that, I could afford a car like that, I don't care, I'll take the bus to work. Well, actually, I'll just carpool with a buddy. <laughs> but it's it's a totally different level, honestly. Not there yet, not there yet. One day I will be. Well, let me know, what are you guys What are you guys driving nowadays? Currently, what I drive is a Mercedes C300. Uh, this is the 2012 version, um, fully loaded, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the one thing is my navigation's a little bit out of date because 2015, uh, so I'm getting that really, that updated and a few little things tweaked uh, the next few weeks. My buddy's always been like, uh, get cutouts, cutout exhaust systems. You got like a QTP cutouts, place them after the first cat, and just go to town. That'd be a lot of fun, but still won't give me that much power as much as I want. So I was thinking, I want the brink of. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. But we'll see. If I somehow hit a fortune, um, I win a lottery, oh, I know what I'll be buying, that's for sure. And I won't, won't really matter to me if we will drive or all wheel drive then, because I will be getting all wheel drive with as much power as I can. Yeah, but. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is all wheel drive. Uh, would all the drive be better than rear wheel drive in the winter? Is there such a big difference with it? And different, like in the States, whatever, in some places they don't get, you guys don't get winter. Uh, we get winter here, so we'll let's say we can expect roughly about a few inches to a foot of snow. There's ice and rains, uh, all this kind of stuff. And I want to be able to be safe on the road, be able to drive comfortably on the road, and not worry about, oh wait, is my car is going to fish out too much, or am I going to go straight instead of going right, etc, etc. So, 
Uh, let me know your honest opinion. What do you guys think? Uh, should I wait uh, until I can afford a C63 MGS or whatever? An all wheel drive AMG car? Should I go for an S4, RS, RS4? What's that comparison like to what I'm looking into? Like an AMG? Uh, or should I just bite the bullet and uh, get go with a few years older AMG, get a rear wheel drive and just tough it out through the winter and see what happens? Uh, but I'll end it off for now. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, it helps me a lot. And I'll make sure to upload more for you guys for sure. Alright, take it easy.